Hi there, and welcome to this week's Doosa TV News. I'm Jo. And I'm Jess, and we're here to give you the top stories from in and around Dundee this week. Tired of disturbances in the silent section of the library, but don't quite have the guts to tell people to be quiet? Honorary Secretary Ian McKinnon pledged to do something about this problem in his election manifesto for this year, an initiative which has seen the creation of the Noisy Neighbours helpline. Sending a text to the number 07974 424 776 will summon a member of staff or student volunteer who will then politely tell the offending noisemaker to pipe down. All texts sent will require a matriculation number and a location to be valid. The Noisy Neighbours helpline is in its trial period at the moment, so if you have any feedback, please email the Honorary Secretary at onsec at dusa.co.uk. A joint initiative between the ICS and the SRC has resulted in the introduction of Wi-Fi for all student accommodation as of next year. This project, which is sure to enhance the student experience on campus, is aimed at keeping Dundee's residences a popular choice for freshers. More details to follow. The Rep is holding what could be Dundee's biggest theatre performance in 20 years next Tuesday at the Virgin Works. The show, called The Town, will be exploring Dundee through the eyes of its people and is being devised by community actors from the Whitfield community of Dundee. Tickets can be bought at the link below. This Friday, the Scottish Huntington's Association are holding a sponsored firewalk at the Landmark Hotel in Dundee to raise money for the treatment of Huntington's disease. If you want to get involved and prove your bravery for a good cause, then this is the thing for you. The event starts at half six. The president of the Royal Society of Chemistry, Professor Leslie Yellowlees, is giving a talk in Dundee tonight as part of the Women in Science Festival. A lecture, entitled Celebrating Chemistry for Health, Wealth and Happiness, asks whether or not modern chemistry can keep up with the challenge of increasing demands for energy and water. The talk, which takes place in the Tower Building's Darcy Thompson Lecture Theatre at 7pm, is free of charge and open to all. Dundee Uni's Feminist Society are teaming up with Hollaback Edinburgh to deliver a Street Harassment Awareness Day. The seminar will be taking place this Saturday and will be in the Level 4 meeting with Indusa. Tickets are free for members and £3 for non-members. This Saturday, the International Society will be hosting their spring dinner. The group are meeting at the Halal Buffet and the meal will be £10 and the event promises to have a few surprises in store so why not check it out? Massive congratulations to Dundee University's Dance Club after they returned home from the Dance Championships in Sunderland last weekend with two first place finishes, two seconds, two thirds, the Spirit Award and the award for Best Choreography. Well done girls. Dundee University maintained their sporting crown for the sixth consecutive year after a great day of varsity action for all involved resulted in a resounding win over Abertay. Most exciting of all was the men's basketball side's victory over Abertay after coming back from 18 points down. Well done to everyone. If you've got any news, please send it to info at That's, That's all for this week, Dundee. Dundee.